Hi everyone. I visited my favourite boot sale today on a Wednesday and found this little portable radio. It's called a Sky Leader and the manufacturer is ever ready. In Britain they were well known as battery manufacturers but they also made old valve radios and transistor radios. Now this is just as I found it at the boot cell. I looked at it, the case is in fair condition. The buttons are all there, long wave, off and medium wave. You've got your, your volume control and your station selector. We will have a look at the other uh, back of it and uh, see inside. Now this set was manufactured in 1957-58 and it was the first transistorized radio that the EverReady company made. Uh, it mustn't be confused with the American EverReady although now they, all, they are the, in fact the same company. But in these early days, it was a company on its own. As I say, the case hasn't been cleaned up. It's the way it's nice to find stuff with the knobs intact. No breakages, nothing torn. The only slight thing is the grill itself will possibly need taking out and ironing flat. It's, been, it's slightly distorted, but it's not torn. It's all there, it's not torn. Uh, let's have a look. Let's let's turn him on. You were young, but is it drops of wine that we'll turn it on. It We've got at the moment we're on a long wave. Now it was house was sold in 1990 and what had been with that. The buzzing is caused by the fluorescent light. Um, so I do apologise for that. It's not the fault of the scent, it's just picking up interference. We go over, over on to the medium wave. Without dedicated listeners, for inquiries, call our sales department on 0208 it's got plenty of volume. This is Radio Pakistan on Kismet, 1035 AM. Now, I won't keep it on too long, I don't want to infringe the other uh, copyright. But that's how the set sounds. It's an AM version, obviously, from the age. I'll turn it off. We'll have a look at the back. That's the top of it, with, with your, your volume control and your station. It's a slow drive station as well, so as you turn the knob, the actual outer ring goes more slowly so you can get a better get a better tune on it you'll notice the dust that is that is purely dust it has not been cleaned up or anything it is as it was found at the boot cell now if I lay it down on its front and turn it round and show the back there's the name ever ready which it, which is and was quite a famous name in England. It's got trim round it. All in all, a nice, a nice little set. Open it up, 
and having a look inside you've got your ferrite rod that's the volume control 5000 ohms and that will be log as opposed to a linear because you hear logarithmically the coloured components are capacitors they're electrolytics they are all in good good nick coming further down you have the somewhere pointing to that I can point with my finger there and there is the match pair of transistors and they will be OC81 they're made by Mallard OC81 Germanian the one above is OC81D and that is in the output stage for, ampl a, for uh, your amplification the transformers are under the printed circuit board coming further over you have your IF T's intermediate frequency transformers that's possible possibly the oscillator and your intermediate frequency transformers they're needed in the superheterodyne system these there are two trimmers they're variable capacitors consists of two metal plates inserted between them is a strip of mica for insulation and dielectric and the amount that you screw it down alters the actual value coming further along this is your tuning capacitor if you move twist that as you can see inside the veins of the capacitor move and that changes the value which gives you your stations on it too are also trimmers so you can trim that to get it actually in the right spot the components standing up are more capacitors the little coloured things you see there are resistors and they are all coded there is a there is a way of remembering the color code but it's a little bit rude so i won't tell you over there that's your loudspeaker and that's the uh, the battery connections as you can see all in all quite a nice little set there's another transistor there they're all germanian fairly rare now you have to consider most transistors now are silicon and are quite a bit smaller and now we'll close it up turn it round just give you a quick look at where i'm getting the other power from i was going to put this up as a separate entity but um just show show you what it is it's a power supply unit also from Wimbledon um, it has a voltmeter on it and an ammeter at the moment it's set at 9 volts or it's, it's more towards 10 than, than 9 goes up to 30 volts and you can draw up to 1 amp it's beautifully smoothed at the back you've got there's a semiconductor at the back made by Motorola and I think that is the one which can no it's not that is actually actually a transistor it's a 2N number but inside there'll be another component which regulates the actual voltage and you've got smoothing a large capacitor and all in all quite a nicely made job anyhow any questions please ask um, 
I'll try and get back to it with the answer if I can. And once again, th thanks for looking. I do apologise for not putting that lamp on today. It still hasn't arrived in the post, but it will go on. So once again, many thanks for looking. Thank you.